guys, what's going on? Normog here, and we are back with some City Skylines Lakeview. And guys, today I wanted to work on, you know, the actual little lake that we had kind of prepped for last time. And, well, still trying to figure out the mechanics of how to create your own lake on consoles without mods. And so, we're going to put that to the side for right now, because we have to find the proper mix between water pumps and water outlet and then I had the issue of this terrain not being a hundred percent level and it started to flood down here by these uh, buildings and until we can open more of this area I just I, I don't want to really touch it for right now so guys we're gonna hold off just for a little bit on that um, but today you know we need to expand on the city we need to expand maybe over here on the farm. I'm going to kind of redo maybe this freeway. Um, we're just going to do all kinds of stuff, guys. So uh, sit back and, guys, let's uh, get into it.
Alright guys, we are back! And I went ahead and destroyed the freeway and I curved it to the right and it's going to come over to this nice little farmland. And then I decided that <clears throat> I wanted to have also this little curvature to the left to come over here to the forestry. So the freeway kind of splits here. And when we get a lot more money, I might come up with a nice, better design. But for now, I like this. This works. Um, for some reason, a lot of people are coming down this way still to drive all this way when clearly that's the shorter path. But I've zoned this as a proper forestry industry, and this is a farm industry. And what I mean by this, guys, is not only did I use the generic forestry and farmland, but I've gone into our industry, guys. And we're going to make this a farmer. Oh, well, you know, that's going to be the farming. And this is going to be the forestry. So let's go ahead and put the first forestry one down now. And I think maybe somewhere right there. So now we're going to need another road for this. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. We want to be able to have lots of... Uh, and let's use these industrial roads, right? So we'll come back by that and uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Space occupied. There we go. At least up to maybe there. So let's go back into our industry. And we're just going to plop a couple of these. Uh, things out, right? I'm going to try to get a one space in between. Oh, you know what? If we had another one space, I think we could have fit all of them there, but I like the one space in between because um, it allows us to, of course, put these pathways. So, there we go. And we're going to want our employees who work over here to be able to walk around a lot. So we're going to build all these fancy pathways for them. Oh, right. Let's bring that out just a little bit more. And to there. Now for now, we'll get rid of these little tips. Right down the edges. Get nice little pathways with trees on them and they got lights so the guys at night time it'll light up the forestry area too which will look really really cool um, I know we don't do too much of a uh, nighttime stuff um, here we go guys we are finally empty on this we can remove the rest of this there we go and that could have been where the uh the entrance should have been, but... Because that's what I did with the original exit. I just turned it to the new on-ramp. Um, that goes this way. So this... This little neighborhood's also going to need its own um, residentials. Because these guys, you know, they work over here. You know, all these guys, they work in this area. So these farmers and, you know, lumbermen are going to need a neighborhood. So let's... Uh, Let's build a little tiny neighborhood up here. I know we removed the neighborhood from over here, but you know, you, you kind of have to destroy to rebuild, if that makes sense, guys. And uh, a lot of this was actually industrial, too, so this will be nice change of pace. And we're going to come back through and smooth in some of these uh, large kind of corners out right make them more curved so let's go right here let's go right there and bam bam and then if we go into curve let's see line it up there we go get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Uh, let's see this one let's see look at there and there Go back to curve. 
let's try this way. Curved. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer that way. Alrighty. Come over here, guys. And pop. Pop. And let's go curve. Now that one's actually already kind of nice. That one has to be a 90 degree angle. So now, let's uh, build us this nice little neighborhood, right? So, let's just come down and we'll go at an angle. And we'll just keep doing like that, right? We'll go down to about right there. And then come down at the angle. One more, right? About right there. Come down at the angle. And right through here, I guess, right? To here, or that dirt, and then come at the angle on this side. There we go. This also gives us a nice little uh, area for some, a little downtown shopping area, right? So let's throw a few commercial in there, even though they won't need them for right now. They're going to need the shops here in a little bit. There we go. We'll put a few services down here. We'll put the uh, the medic there. And let's see. Police. Maybe here. And we'll do fire department. When we get the money, right over there. So that the residentials will fill in. So let's go ahead and do this. Pause for a second because I want to dezone those ends, right? So we can have our pathways that go through. So there we go. And let me get that. There we go. One more. And there we go. We'll let that zone in. As soon as we hit the 12,000, we'll drop that fire department. And there we go. Now they should already all have plumbing from earlier. And our services right here should connect the power. So we're good there. So guys, yeah. We're going to just kind of generate some money. And I'll be right back. So we can continue building on our farmland, right? Alright guys, there we go. We planned out a little... Uh, farm area we got our farmhouse down here and we got a couple of crops here a couple of animal bins over here and then a few fruit trees I used the fruit trees mainly to carry the power over to the animals and a couple of silos to fill in the gaps also to kind of help carry the power over there guys so um, yeah, we got a nice little farmland going out. We got our farming, uh, forestry industry properly up and running. And this is also a mix of the, um, basic and generic farmland, guys. So what we could do, guys, is if we come in here, um, we can go to the yellow, right? And we could build just some small, basic little farmland houses right here right and these will be the generic industry farmhouses there we go let's throw maybe a commercial right here because these guys need the corner shops that should have connected the power and there we go guys look at that we got another area, we got some uh, new uh, sidewalks and stuff like that. We got the crematorium, which we've desperately been needing. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and do a water tower, guys, right? Because I think the water tower will actually act as a power. There we go. And it kind of 
adds to the farmland vibe, right? Now they're claiming they don't have enough, uh, you know, stuff, but they will. It's just, it's early in the farm, so it needs time. Um, let's make sure that these are all, you know, farm, farming, you know, places. We don't want no dirty industrial down here. It'd be okay if a lumber industry builds down here, but not, not dirty industrial. So, you don't see too many roads or uh, cars taking this uh, pathway now. Almost everybody's going this way now. Um, we got somebody headed this way. Get the one lonely truck. And it's probably a time, too, guys, that we uh, upgrade this main road, right? So, I want to go ahead and make this a two-lane highway right and so what this is is it allow it to be kind of fast um, and we're gonna do it up to there right and then we're gonna have to go to regular roads and let's get the other uh, one with the grass now saying the space is already there um, because of our main building which we can move um, in fact let's move it right over there so uh, we're gonna just move for temporary right to right there come over here and upgrade and then now can we move it back right there there we go And then let's go back to our highway, right? And we'll upgrade to that. So now, you know, and then as we progress, right, the road and the farm, we'll slowly replace it with, you know, the regular road, right? But this will help them get out of here real quick. That way they don't have to go back through town, come up here, and... I mean, we also got to do something with this, guys. Um, this needs to come around this way. So, let's pause for a second. And we can get rid of this road and this road temporarily, right? And if we come into our highways and let's just... Um, For the time being, let's say it had another exit, right? We're going to have to move that water tower, aren't we? It's always about moving stuff, guys. So let's move it... Right there. We'll go ahead and hook that plumbing back up. There we go. And let's see. Let's do that two-lane highway thing again real quick, right? from here but here we're gonna do this right because we need to be able to have the exit so the residents can come over here but we also need to be able to have a proper exit for the people to come over here to the freeway so let's see we got a little bit of money let's mess around with this just for a second oh or guys we can build a roundabout which is actually probably what's going to be best. So let's uh, destroy this, let's destroy this, and this. And let's go over to our dirt roads. And let's just build a nice little roundabout. So let's do... Let's see. We'll do 140 maybe? Uh, let's do 120. Or 160, there we go. Something we can get in the middle of. So if we go up... Uh, no? 120, there we go. One more? Where's that 120? I'm trying to go up to the 120. And it won't let me hit the 120 at that angle. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's uh get rid of you just one more, a little bit more. And turn. I think road snapping off is what we need. Alright, there we go. Proper let's line it up though. Uh, right here. Well, it's going to be a circle, so I guess it wouldn't matter what direction it's at, right? So we want to hit 120. Twenty. That's not right. All right, bear with me one second, guys. Let's just go the full ten, right? Up to there. Up to there. There we go. Don't know why that was so difficult, guys, but it was. Um, and then let's go to the corner, down. To the corner and down to the corner and down and to the corner right there and down now we can upgrade this right guys and we're gonna upgrade this to a asymmetrical road now I know that's gonna sound a little weird uh, for a roundabout but I haven't a reason why guys one of the we're gonna have the two lane as the uh, the inside one right so there we go now we're gonna leave those roads in the center just temporarily right because those are your um, braces that's the word so let's go ahead and connect this to this and um, actually, let's uh, replace that. I did not mean to do that. Or that. So let's, uh... There, let's do that. And let's do that. A little slight design, uh, redesign for the neighborhood, but that's fine. Now, if we go over back to our highway, we get our two-lane road, right? We can bring this right here. And now we can connect our freeway, our highway. So let's bring this down. And we want to go right there. And this is going to be the, the little tricky part, getting it in on this side. Uh, but if we do a curve, maybe from here. straight from there yeah all right let's go back just a little bit and curve there you go change directions now we can get rid of our braces and you know what we're gonna go ahead and let's go and upgrade this to a one-way thing there we go let's let this play through and let's watch this so now a lot of them should start to go to the right and then any that need to go to the left you know will go to the left and those are going to be the people who are probably going into town and look at that our traffic issue is under control we had backed up traffic for miles, you know. Now it's gone. So. Well, there you go, guys. This might have been a shorter episode. Might have been a longer episode. I'm not too sure. Editing will tell us. But, guys, thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That's going to be popping up to the left right about now. And now that the video's over, man, we have other videos, other series consider sticking around watching one of our other videos with that being said guys 
thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time.